Today we will learn how to make this wonderful 3D pie chart. So without wasting much time, let's begin today's tutorial, Slides and Cells. Before we make this 3D pie chart, there are a couple of things that you should know. First is if there are more than 5 chunks or 5 parts in a given pie chart, I would strongly recommend to not use this 3D pie chart because the smaller the chunks, the less visible they will be. Also the second part is make sure that your data is correct and finalized because once the data is done and the pie chart is done, it is very very difficult to edit it. Now that this is done, let's look into how to make this 3D pie chart. First step is to convert this data into a 2D pie chart into Excel. For that I will select this entire data, get into charts and then I would select the 2D pie chart. Remember select the 2D pie chart. Then I will set the header, delete it. Then I will get into legends and then I will delete it. And we have this pie chart in Excel. I will select it, copy it and then I will paste it out here. And we are done with the first step. Next what we are going to do is again select this entire pie chart, cut it and then I will get into home, get into paste and in this paste I will get into paste special and here I will select the option that is enhanced meta life. Once I do that and hit ok then I will select ctrl shift g and I get this pop up. Here I will select yes basically we are converting this image into small shapes which can be easily edited. After that I will hit inside this box that is out there and you will see a small rectangle that is formed out here that is a transparent back inside i will hit delete and that will get deleted and this entire rectangle has now become smaller now the important part is to make sure that the biggest chunk is on the back inside so that the smaller chunks are much easily visible since we have converted this into shapes we can easily add color and edit it. I will select the biggest chunk, get into formats and then get into shape fill, use the eyedropper and use the first color in the palettes. Similarly, I will select the second biggest chunk, get into formats, get into shape fill, eyedropper and select the second option in the color palette. For the third one, the same procedure. I will go to the eyedropper, select the third one and then for the fourth one once this is done and i will select the fourth one yeah once this is done i will again select the entire pie chart get into formats and then into shape outline and make sure that i will select the no outline this is very important to select it as no outline this is done now this is on the left hand side to make sure this is right way up what I will do is cut it, again get into paste special and then I will select the option that is enhance meta life. Once I do this, the biggest chunk is on the back end side and this is right way up. This is the end of the second part. Now I will hit ctrl shift G to ungroup it and I will get the same option again, hit yes. After that, I will hit the inside part of it. You will get a small rectangle, hit delete. And after that, I will select the entire pie chart, go into formats, shape outline and select no outline. Once this is done, I will increase the size of this entire pie chart. I will right click on it and then I will select the format shape option. Once I do this, I get several options on the right hand side pane. I will select the second one that is effects. Once I select the effects, I will get the option and I will select the one that is 3D formats. Out here, the first thing that I will change is the height. I will change the height to 200. The moment I do that, the width automatically increases to 6. This I will again take it back to 0. So I will delete this and change it to zero. I won't change anything else but I will come down right away and there I will select the lighting option and here I will select the soft. After that I will change the angle 
to 300. I will close this and once this is closed I will select the second option that is 3D rotation. In 3D rotation I will choose the Y position and here I will keep it as 300. Once this is done you get the 3D pie chart in shape. First I will adjust the size as I wanted. Now when you look at this 3D pie chart you would observe that all of them are in the same height but here when we look at it all of them are on different height. Now to do this what I will do is I will do, take this uh, chart as it is and what I will do is select the slide hit ctrl D I will go down there and I will delete this. Now what I will do is I will take each chunk one by one. The first one that I will check is the largest chunk. I will double click on it and then I will copy it that is ctrl C. Come to the slide below and paste it using ctrl V. After this what I will do is I will again go to the second slide. Take the second largest chunk again double click on it and you would see a small rectangle formed around it. Then I will get into 3D effects. This time in the heights I will select say 150. Once this is done you would realize that the height has changed. And then I will copy this and I will paste it in this third slide. Once I do this using the mouse or the arrow key I will adjust the alignment so that it is perfectly aligned. To make sure that this is perfectly aligned I will use the arrow keys or the mouse key and here now it is perfectly aligned. Once this is perfectly aligned I will again go to the second slide and then I will choose the third chunk again make sure that you double click on it and once you do that you have got this faint rectangle out there then I will get into 3d effects and this time the size will be reduced to 100. Now all these sizes are according to the proportion that we want or just to symbolize which one is the largest chunk and which one is the smallest one. I have copied that now I've come down here and I have pasted it here and again I will use my arrow keys or my mouse and make sure that it is perfectly aligned. Then I will go to the top again. This time I will choose the smallest chunk that is the leftover chunk. There is a rect faint rectangle formed on it. Again go into effects, 3D formats and now the height I will take it as 60. Once I have done this, I have I will select it, Control C, come out here and then I will paste it. The moment you paste it, you realize that it overlaps. Now to overcome this problem, what I will do is go to the top in Format, get into Arrange, in Arrange, I will select Send Backwards. The moment I do that, now it is perfectly aligned. Now using my arrow key or my mouse, I will adjust the size as it is and the position to make sure it is perfectly aligned. Now it is done. This is a perfect fit and we have got what we wanted. Now I will select all the chunks and hit Ctrl G and make it into one large group by grouping it. Now I can move this wherever I want to and how I'll adjust it and then I will adjust the size too. But the moment I do this, you would realize that it is a bit distorted. To make sure that this distortion is again rightfully aligned, you would again click the chunk that is distorted and then using your arrow keys again align it the way you want to. We are almost done. Just let me do Yes. Yeah, now it is done. Now we are perfectly done. I'll just take it a little bit on the top. Yeah, now we are perfectly done. All I have to do now is fill in all the details for each of the chunks in this given pile. To do this, what I will do is get into insert and I will hit the text box and then I will fill in the details that are there, that is the figure that are there, which is 16.3 million. Just to confirm, 16.3 is the largest chunk. I have right written 16.3 million. I will select the entire text and here I will select the font as TW Send. Once this is selected, 
I will increase the font size to 36. After this, I will bold it and I will align it to the top left corner that is right above the largest chunk. Now we also want to fill in some details about each of the parts in this pie chart. For that, what you have to do is put in some extra information and for that, what I will do is simply copy that part that is there, come here and then I will paste it. Here we can fill in any detail that we want to. I will align this right below the number. Then I will select both the, uh, both the parts and then I will group it. I will control C and control V and then I will drag it down. After this, I will again go to the same process that is control C, control V and then take it to the right hand side. And make sure it is perfectly aligned. Yeah, once this is done, again control C, control V and then drag it below. Now for the four parts of the pie, we have four different uh, sections where we can fill in the details. Now, what I will do is punch in the numbers that are should to be punched. Here, I will put in the number as 4.7. Then on the top right, it is 12.2. Yeah. I will put in the number as 8.6. What I have to do is make sure all these numbers represented by the same font color that the chunk is there. So what I will do is go to the fonts, get the eyedropper and hit the eye eyedropper on the chunk that it represents. Similarly, I will select 4.7, hit the eyedropper and then I will select the part that the red part that is out there, this one. And then again 12.2, I will go to the fonts select eyedropper and select the same color that is there for that pie chunk that is out there same for 8.6 and we are done rather we are almost done the only part that is pending is the connector and there is a smart way to do it here what we will do is go to insert and here in shapes i will go and select a small rectangle and I will put the rectangle where I want this connector to be. So I will put this out here. Then what I will do is take that part, control C, control V, and then put it across the second chunk of pi that is there. Again, I will repeat the same process twice. That is control C, control V, put it in the yellow color part of the chunk that is there of, or of the pi and again the same on the purple after this is done that is we have got four pie chunks with four small rectangles to it what i will do is get into insert get into shapes and this time i will click on the connector this connector will connect this rectangle with the figures that are out there or the information that is out there and then i will align it the way i want to using that dot I can copy this, control C, control V and then all I have to do is keep one end on that rectangle and the other end very close to the figure that is out there. Similarly again I will control C, control V, again one end at the rectangle and the other end at the figures that are there. So I will just drag it across and bring it very close to 8.6 and then the last part that is there that is in 12.2 again I will put one end to the rectangle and the other end to the 12.2 million once this part is done I will select all these connectors together and I will use shift and use the mouse and select all of them I will get into format shape Here I will get into the colors and I will select a light gray color. After this I will increase the width to two points. I will select this long dash that is this one. After this 
the beginning arrow type and the end arrow type i will keep it in the same format that is rounded so i will select the round for the start and the end part this is done now the only part that is pending is the small rectangle chunks that you can see and there's a very simple solution for it what i will do is i will select all these small rectangle chunks one by one using control and arrow key so i have selected all four of them then i will go to format and there i will get into shape fill and i will put it as no fill and for the shape outline and put it as no outline and we are done it is absolutely not visible all i have to do is go to the top slide copy the title and subtitle copy it come down there to the final slide and paste it and we are done ladies and gentlemen here it is a beautiful 3d pie chart Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching the tutorials from Slides and Sell. The link for the free template is given in the below description. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked our video, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment on our videos. Thank you now. See you.